What's up everybody? This is my second time today making this video because if you saw my first video, I didn't realize that Blink put out two songs today. Uh, I was only aware of One More Time, which is the slow acoustic uh, ballad kind of song that they actually put out a music video for. Uh, but they also put out a second song called More Than You Know, which is much faster, um, heavier, you know, uh, the complete opposite. And some of the things that I said in that first video don't make sense now that I know there's two songs out today. Because I was kind of criticizing the fact that maybe they should have released a faster song instead of a slow song, considering... A slower song doesn't really represent a whole album, at least not for Blink, usually. Um, so, I, I just want to jump back into one more time, um, then I'll talk about more than you know. Um, I, I like the song a lot. I think it was um, an odd choice for the next single, because it is that slower song. Like, that's something maybe I would have put out as a single maybe a couple months into the album already having been, been released you know um, like they did with Stay Together for the Kids like obviously that's a bit heavier but it's you know the ballad of Take, your Pants, uh, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket and that came out a couple months after uh, they did like the more appropriate more album representative type song uh, initially that being said, I really do like the lyrics in One More Time a lot. Um, I think it's great that they finally realized that when they're all together, they're the best versions of themselves. You know, they're clearly very happy. Uh, it, it's, it's obvious. I mean, back when Neighborhoods came out, you know, we, we saw them all together again for the first time in a while, and it felt a little weird. I think it didn't really feel like it does now like right now they seem more happy than ever and it's it's great to see even even more than just the, the new music it's great to just see them happy and having fun um, so the lyrics are great uh, they're talking about um, you know why does a tragedy have to happen uh, for us to realize, you know, we don't want this to end, you know, and it, it's, it's totally the case. I mean, Travis was in the plane at plane crash. Mark found out he had cancer and even Tom has stated that he's had, uh, issues with skin cancer, um, in the not so, um, distant past. And I don't know. I, I like I said. I just I, I think the lyrics really feel heartfelt. They they make a lot of sense, and I think it's something that a lot of us were feeling at the same time. You know, like why can't they just see what we're seeing? You know. Um, so yeah, I, I really like the song. It's very simple, obviously. Um, it's not something that I'm gonna run out and do a guitar cover of just because it doesn't really have much that I can really add to personally um, but it, it's it's great to also see Travis having a little uh, a little part in there for uh, vocals you know towards the end of the song I think that was cool I didn't even notice the first time I heard it because I'll be honest I heard the song a couple days um, in advance because someone had leaked it so I did hear that, like a lower quality version of it. Uh, and I didn't even pick up that it was uh, Travis in there. So I think that whole that whole thing is really cool. Um, I did finally get to see the music video earlier today. And I did talk about that in my first video um, that is now deleted. But I really liked the music video a lot. It was probably the first time um, one of their music videos actually made me kind of choke up a little bit because it, even you know lyrics aside or you know just seeing them back together aside seeing the way that they did the music video I thought was really creative they brought back all these 
set pieces, even if it is just like a green screen, it, it felt like them playing in all these old, um, all these old uh, stages that they had played before. And me, like many other people, have seen these videos so many times. You know, it was so obvious when they're in the streets for up all night, or they're in like the the demolished building is sitting together for the kids but the the ones that really got me uh surprised were one the daytona live video um i think it was in 2000 they played like right on the beach basically on a stage that that's one of my favorite performances ever and then there was also the trl set that they did right um right before or right when uh, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket came out. I watched those live videos so many times. I can't tell you how many times I've seen those. And yeah, that that got me choked up a little bit, like I said. Um, anyway, that's all I got to say about that song. Um, more than you know, people kept saying, oh, did you realize the second song came out today? And I had no idea, so I immediately threw my headphones on and it was the song that Tom had made a little post about earlier today I was like oh he's he's showing a lot of this song I didn't like I was like oh maybe you know another new single's coming anyway it is the fast upbeat song that I was looking for um, there's some really cool parts in it I, I do like that it's heavier I loved the drums in the song. There's a really great like drum breakdown later in the song. Um, the only negatives I would say about the song, for me personally, I don't really like the mix all that much because the guitars are very quiet in a lot of spots. And secondly, I, I think there really needed to be guitar in the verses. I mean, I get maybe having like half a verse be like bass only or something but I mean guitar is a huge part of this band and always has been and I feel like not having any guitar from what I could tell in the verses at all was a bit of a letdown um, I do I do really like the uh the bridge. I thought the bridge was really cool. It kind of reminded me of, um, it kind of reminded me of Always a little bit because it kind of had like an 80s sort of vibe to it and it kind of made me think of Jerry Finn a little bit, you know, rest in peace. I feel like that would have been something you would have been into. Um, I, I like both the singing, you know, Mark's parts were good. I like Tom's parts. The yelling parts were interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's it's the song that I was hoping for personally. Maybe it's a song I'll cover. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, it would be an easy song to do. Probably not super interesting because there's maybe like two parts that I can even really play because the pre-chorus where Tom is yelling, it's just the same chord played over and over again from what I could tell. And then there's like the intro and then a chorus and I don't know it wouldn't be super interesting but maybe I can do something I mean I know people want it but we'll see um, so overall I mean I like the songs I'm excited for the album and uh, I don't know we'll uh, we'll talk about it some more once once some uh, new songs come out so thank you for watching Thank you for watching again to some people who caught the original video. I feel like an idiot, but I appreciate uh, people letting me know that another song was out. And uh, yeah, I'm officially home, so I'm going to go be with my family. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon.